Okay guys, this is Jason with FPV Model again. Uh, what I want to do is make a quick video showing you a new product by Feiyu. It's Feiyu 41 AP Lite. Uh, basically it's like the 41 AP except two things. It does not have, uh, it's not compatible with multi-rotors and it also does not have waypoints. Uh, it does have a built-in OSD system, so you can see all of your flight data on the screen. Uh, it's not like DOS and Hornet where you have two separate boxes, one for OSD and one for the AP. Uh, this one is all built in. Uh, it's pretty competitive price market, uh, $159, and it has a lot of functions. So what I want to do is I want to open up the box and uh, show you what it looks like. So let's go ahead and get this open. Uh, now, being a Feiyu product, it does come pretty nicely packaged. Uh, the first thing you notice when you open the box is you get the warranty card. So let's put that aside and let's take a look at what it comes with. Uh, here we have the GPS. We also have one thing that I like about this, uh, the airspeed sensor. So now you can tell your airspeed on your OSD. Uh, Here's the main brands of the operation. This is Feiyu 41 AP Lite. Uh, it's one box, like I said. It's just uh, one box that goes inside the plane. And it also has the OSD uh, built in, so you don't have to worry about the two, fitting two boxes into a plane. So, let's go ahead and take a look at this. It's pretty light. Uh, you can check out all the details in the manual about it. Uh, I'll also post that up on uh, on this YouTube video. So if you want to link over to the manual and download it, you're more than welcome to. So there's the AP. Let's look here. Okay, this is the power management module. Uh, this is going to give you all of your data about your power management and what kind of uh, what kind of battery usage you're getting. Uh, Kind of give you an idea of how much time you got left, uh, let you know if you can make it back or not. Uh, it also has a, another function to it where it supplies 12 volt to your camera or your video transmitter, uh, which is nice so you don't have to use two separate batteries while flying. And let's see what this is. Okay. Yeah, so we just got a cap on it, pull that off, it's USB, this is so you can update the uh, firmware, they will, uh, they will continue to work on it, take some uh, user suggestions and also supply some of their own for updating the firmware. And the cable is provided along with the autopilot, so that's kind of nice, that's not a separate item that you need to purchase. But what else does it come with? It comes with some little Velcro for mounting the item in. Uh, personally, I don't use the uh, Feiyu Velcro. I usually use 3M, but uh, either one ought to work just fine. Also comes with some uh, foam mounting pads for uh, absorbing some of the vibration. Uh, if your vibrations are low on your plane, you can actually get away with just Velcroing the autopilot in. It's what I do with my DOS, and I have not had any problems with it. So, let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is so you can, um, you have some extra cables. So you can uh, go ahead and solder on to your camera or your uh, video transmitter if you'd like to do so. Uh, once again, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, here we go. Here is the uh, main wiring harness. Uh, this is gonna plug into your it's going to plug into the autopilot and it's going to have all of the cables that connect to your uh, connect to your receiver for your elevator, aileron, uh, rudder, throttle, uh, things like that. So it's pretty simple. Uh, tomorrow what I want to do is I'm going to uh, work on this tonight, put it in my, uh, put it in my plane and then I'm going to take it out and uh, test it out tomorrow. So I'm going to hook it up to a uh, hook up the receiver to a DVR, and I'll try to give you guys a uh, video of it in action and let you see what it looks like uh, through the eyes of the OSD. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, please take a moment, check out our Facebook, 
And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel if this is your first time visiting us. Uh, if you have any questions, you can also contact me at jason at fpvmodel.com. Uh, thank you for watching.